kind of a, uh, a alias that you go by, uh, Swami Candela. How did that come to be? Because I, I know what I think about it. I picture you as, as you know, as I said before, the guru, the, uh, the wise man up on the hill, the, the, uh, the guy who I look to just to say, oh, I'm going to read Richard and see, see what's coming. How did that come to be for you? Well, that came out of that same time period when I was struggling to dig myself out of a financial hole. And I thought the best way to do that was to take advantage of my education and, and uh, exploit it to the, the most possibility. So I sat down and started thinking to myself, if I'm really going to be an expert in the field, then I need to be some kind of high priest or some kind of guru or some kind of, uh, you know, I don't know, sw uh, swami. And I thought, well, that's okay, swami. Swami knows a lot of things, so I'll, be, I'll take on this persona Swami Kadena, and I thought, no, that's not quite right. It needs to reflect that I'm in the lighting industry. So I thought, whoa, Swami Kandela, and to me, Swami Kandela is an embodiment of the is a personification of the industry of all of the collective consciousness of the industry funneled through a um, this fictitious character, Swami Kandela. So Swami is you and and me and everybody in the industry who contributes and, and focuses their energy on the art and science of the industry together. You know, one of the things that I always picture, Swami Kandela, I picture the, the, uh, the computer animation you've made of yourself in the, in the turban and gazing into the crystal ball. I think a lot of people have a lot of ideas about where the industry is headed and what is going on and what is new and where it's going to be in 10 years. And I think, you know, 10 years, it's impossible to know. But what do you think are the things that are happening right now that people are just starting to recognize? Well, it's real simple to me because the, the exciting parts of the industry, the parts that are developing the fastest and, and are the most fun and creative are automation. You know, the, the moving the moving lights to me is a great concept. Um, you've got control systems that are advancing, you know, like the visualizers and just the control itself. You have networking, to, to be able to put all of these disparate pieces together and create this monolith of control and of lighting and this entire system is, has a uh, tremendous potential. And then you have the technologies that connect them together like wireless, uh, that are, it's improving at such, a, such an incredible rate and you have battery power, that, between battery power and wireless and networking, we're going to be able to do some incredible things. And of course there's LEDs too. The LED technology is just getting to the point to where we can really take advantage of it, but it's still growing at an incredible rate. So, you know, 10 years from now, it's just going to be off the charts. The saying in, in, the, uh, in the art world, or I guess it's not really a saying, it's, it's sort of the rule. Uh, you have to know and understand the rules before you can break them. A great artist needs to know and understand the rules, and then they can break them and do something truly groundbreaking. Where do you see that in, in relation to the lighting industry? Well, I think all the rules should be broken. Rules are made to be broken, but, but I do agree you have to understand the rules before you can break them in a logical sense, if that makes sense, because otherwise it's chaos. And, and you need to create some kind of order out of chaos in order for it to, to be artistically expressive. So learn the rules first, and then break them to bits, smash them to smithereens, all of them. I see... Uh especially in entertainment and, and not necessarily limited to lighting, but lighting is definitely a part of it. There are a lot of medias converging, whether it is lighting and video, uh, it's always been lighting and sound. Lighting just seems to have its hands into so many things right now. Uh, lighting and automation, as you were just saying. Do you see, what do you see there as an exciting, an exciting thing, you know, for instance, the parasol system uh, that, that we just saw at LDI. What, what sorts of things do you see out there that you think are, are up and coming and really interesting? Okay, well, wrap your head around this. Think, all of, think of all the 3D uh, projectors and, and display devices you've got, and then that combined with all of the advances in, in animation, you know, the Pixar Studio stuff that's just gone off the charts. You know, you've got things like 3, 3ds Max, and you've got Photoshop, and you've got after Effects, now, and then you, you have all of the advances in uh, LED display technology, combining those together with control systems, with really powerful control that are networked together, that are wireless. And so if you combine automation, you know, all the things we talked about, automation, LEDs, control, networking, now you're moving towards something that will eventually become what I think will be holographic production. So 
I, I think that if you take that one step further, then you could take the, the uh, going with the control systems that you're talking about, you could go with the, the connect control system that, so that it's completely yeah. interactive with a human in that space. Wow, that, that's, that's pretty cool, man. Exactly. You're that's blowing the, my mind. That's, <laughs> the, that's the next level, and that's where it's headed. Thank you.